Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the After Hours Sea Based Informational Session for our Britain Environmental Center programs. This is part of a series of informational sessions we are holding for our 2024 Sea Based Cruise. You'll notice that some details in each presentation will vary, and it's true, we do our best to standardize as much as possible. But Sea Base's high venture programs are operated from four amazing and different locations and consist of 18 different programs with some varied operational requirements. We operate out of two locations in the Florida Keys, our main Sea Base location right here in Almorada, Florida, and the Britain Environmental Center located in Summerland Key. We also offer programs in St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands and the Abaco Islands in the Bahamas. Our directors each also have differing perspectives about what is most important to review for preparation. When communicating with CBASE or reviewing requirements, it's important to know what the program your unit is registered for. We have a staff member monitoring the comment section of this live event, so if any questions arise as you watch, type them into the comment section. We will take about five minutes after the presentation to answer some of the questions out loud. Presentations will be recorded and published to the CBASE website within two to three business days, along with PowerPoint slides. This presentation will review requirements and recommendations for the following sea based high adventure programs the Out Island Adventure, the Marine Echo Expedition Program, the Fishing Adventure, and Keys Adventure. Please note that sea base has two programs that are similarly named the Keys Adventure Program and the Keys Adventure Sailing Program. This presentation covers the Keys Adventure Program. For the Keys Adventure Sailing Program, please refer to the info session about our sailing programs. Without further ado, here's the presentation for our programs at the Britain Environmental Center. Welcome to the National High Adventure Sea Base Boy Scouts of America Britain Environmental Center Adventures. Including these adventures are the Keys Adventure, Out Island Adventure, Fishing Adventure, and Marine Eco Expedition. Your adventure will take place at the Britain Environmental Center, located at 23800 Overseas Highway on Summerlin Key in Florida. We do have two National High Adventures here in the Florida Keys, one here on Summerlin Key, and one in Isla Morada. Make sure that you go to the correct space. The one that you are wanting to go to is located at mile marker 23.8 at Brinton Environmental Center. Eligibility requirements. Crew roster is completed 90 days prior to arrival. All participants must be 12 years of age or older for fishing adventure, keys adventure, Marine Eco Expedition. All participants must be 13 years or older for the Out Island Adventure. All participants must be registered members of the BSA. All adult leaders must complete the following adult leader trainings. BSA Safe Swim Defense, BSA Safety Afloat, BSA Hazardous Weather, and BSA Youth Protection. Please provide copies of these certificates upon arrival. At least one adult from each crew must have wilderness first aid and CPR slash AED certifications. Please also provide copies of these upon arrival. All participants must pass the BSA swim test prior to arrival as a swimmer, evidenced by the unit swim classification record. All participants must complete the sea base swim review upon arrival. Non-swimmers will be sent home at their own expense. Medically approved for participation, evidenced by the BSA annual health and medical record and meets C-based risk advisory medical requirements, pre-event medical screening checklist per crew, and no participant can exceed 295 pounds as evidenced by the medical form. No exceptions will be made. Participants exceeding this weight limit will be sent home at their own expense. Now all of your hard work has paid off and it's time for arrival and registration day. Your arrival time is between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Once you arrive, you will pull into the Circle Drive and a staff member will be waiting for you at the stairs. You will check in with them and they will review your documents. Um, and that's also when you meet your mate. Then once you finish checking in with your paperwork, you check into the dorms. Uh, you will conduct a BSA swim review, a snorkel lesson, and then there's an opening ceremony in the evening. Upon arrival, you will turn in your required paperwork. Included in this is the crew roster, BSA annual health and medical records for each participant, unit swim classification record, adult leader training certificates mentioned in the slide previous, WUFA and CPR AD training certificates, pre-event medical screening checklist. All copies of forms should be placed in a folder or notebook and submitted upon arrival during check-in. Please refrain from using plastic sleeves to ensure a timely check-in process. Either have all of your documents for each participant in one's place and all together, 
or have each type of document together. Either way is fine with us. Here is an example of a Keys Adventure weekly schedule. Now please note that the program is dictated by weather, tides, and the ability of the crew. Your activity plan can vary, sometimes widely, due to these factors. But don't worry, that is what your mate and other staff members are here for. They will take care of you. Your mate will make sure that you have vehicle transportation when you go to events such as Key West or night snorkeling. They'll make sure that all of your members know what gear to take every single day, and they'll prepare you in the mornings to make sure that you have everything you need before you leave for the day. So day one is going to be your check-in day, and you can read what the rest of the day would look like. Day two will be your Key West day, and you'll notice that at the end of every adventure, there's also an evening program. And so you spend the whole day in Key West on day two. Day three, you start out snorkeling during the daytime, and in the evening, you go bridge fishing. Day four, you are fishing, and day four in the evening, when you finish fishing, you will be dropped off on Big Munson Island with your fish, where you get to eat your fresh-caught fish on Big Munson Island. Once you spend the night, the next morning, your mate will take you on an island tour. And once you complete your island tour and your scene project, you come back for night snorkeling. And then day six, you will go sailing, and then you'll conduct your conch luau ceremony for your closing ceremony at the end of the day. And then your last day, day seven, is your departure day. Here we have an example of our Out Island weekly schedule. Welcome to Island Time, an opportunity for all participants to leave their electronics on base, leaving their watches on base. It's a chance to totally uh, get away from uh, all electronics and totally enrich yourselves with just the experience of those around you. Day one is your regular check-in day. Day two, you'll have a gear shakedown. You'll have an early lunch, and then you'll hop into your war canoes and paddle to Big Munson Island. You'll get settled into camp. You'll have your island campfire. Day three is your, what we call your island day. You'll kayak through mangrove lagoons, shark fish, and tour the island. Day four is your fishing day. You'll be picked up in the morning by fishing boats, taking fishing all day long, and then drop back off at Big Munson Island to cook your catch. That is also your night snorkel night. Day five is your snorkel day. You'll have snorkeling in the morning or afternoon and flip-flop that with a scene project. Um, that night, you'll have a crab race. Day six, you'll clean your campsite, paddle back to the Brenton Center, uh, have lunch, have your conch ceremony, and day seven is your departure day. Your fishing adventure weekly schedule. Four out of the five days, you'll go out on either our a uh, bigger 32-foot boat, or you'll go out on our 27-foot center console fishing boats. You'll go out and get to do an, a variety of different types of fishing in the ocean. Um, the fifth day, you'll go snorkeling in the morning and then get to go explore Key West. Your last day is your departure day. Departure is 10 a.m. This is the schedule for the Marine Eco Expedition Adventure. On day one, you have your check-in, just like all of the other schedules. And then on day two is a full snorkel day. On this snorkel day, you focus on water quality sampling and fish surveys. Um, your mate will always prepare the scouts with presentations on how to conduct these surveys. And once you've completed this, your evening program will consist of presentations and building ROVs. That'll be explained to the scouts once they come here. On day three, you work in the land-based coral restoration nursery in the mornings, and then you head to Key West. When you're at Key West, there's a variety of activities that your scouts will participate in, and there is a packet that the mate will give to you that will have options for the scouts to choose from. And then you have dinner in Key West, and you return to base. On day four, you'll have an island day on Big Mutson Island, where you get to explore the island and learn about the ecology of the island. And you'll also conduct some surveys and a beach cleanup. In the evening, once again, you'll do some presentations and continue to build your ROV. On day five, you'll go shark fishing and shark tagging, which is one of the most thrilling adventures and activities that we offer here at Seabase. Once you've hopefully tagged the shark, 
um, you might catch some fish that you can bring back to base and have some cooked fish on base. And then you come back and then there are other options that you could do for the evening. It could be presentations, continuing to build the ROV, or there's an option to go night snorkeling as well that evening. And on day six, it is a second all-day snorkel. And on this all-day snorkel, you focus more on corals with bleaching events and disease surveys. And once you've completed those, you come back, you, can, you do conch ceremony with the rest of the scouts. Um, and then day seven is your departure day. In regards to packing lists, you can find our packing list for each adventure and your participant guide. You can find the participant guide on our website, bsacbase.org. Then at the top of your screen, click Scouts. It'll pull up a drop-down menu where you can click Resources and then Participant Guides. Use the table of contents in your participant guide to help find the content you need by clicking on the needed sections. After clicking on the title of your needed section, it'll jump to that page. Packing lists for each adventure can be found on the following pages of your participant guide. Keys Adventure, page 18. Out Island Adventure, page 21. Fishing Adventure, page 23. Marine Eco Expedition, page 26. The Britain Center Participant Guide is your best resource pre for preparing for your adventure. Fishing License. Fishing licenses are needed for all participants ages 16 years of age and older. Saltwater licenses can be purchased at GoOutdoorsFlorida.com. Seabase does not sell fishing licenses. You must purchase them before your arrival. Please defer to page 15 of your Brenton Center Participant Guide to find out which license is best for you based on your chosen adventure and attending season. And notice at the bottom it says we do not participate in lobster mini season. It could be too unsafe for the scouts with how busy it is. However, we do participate in regular lobster season. Program specific training. Sea based adventures are aquatic based and require all participants, youth and alike, youth and adult alike, to be fit, confident swimmers. It is recommended that your unit, in consultation with physician and local council, BSA aquatics director, or a qualified aquatic professional develops a crew training regimen. This regimen should include frequent pool training sessions, basic snorkeling instruction, paddle craft sessions, and upper body strength training, as well as the BSA swim test, which is a requirement. Become strong, confident swimmers. Snorkel. Practice clearing a mask and snorkel. Practice equalizing the ears. Practice fishing knots. Become proficient with nautical map and compass navigation. Seek local instruction regarding the use of VHF marine radios, safety flares, man overboard procedures, and drill potential emergency situations. Become proficient with paddle crafts. Practice gaining upper body strength to lift oneself onto a dock, kayak, paddleboard, or canoe. Adults must understand BSA safe swim defense and safety afloat guidelines and be prepared to assist in emergency situations. While you participate in your adventures at Seabase, there are some certifications and awards that you and your crew will achieve. Um, the unique ones are for Keys Adventure, there's a Club KOASO Award. Out Island has the Castaway Club Award. Marine Eco Expedition has a Citizen Science Award. Uh, now with these awards, your mate will ensure that while you are spending your week here, you are completing all of the requirements that are necessary to gain these awards. Additionally, there are some rewards below these that you can also earn. The Scene Award, this is a Conservation Award. The Duty to God Award, the Kayaking BSA Award, the Snorkeling BSA Award, the Stand Up Paddleboarding BSA Award. Um, if you are interested in some of these awards, please let your mate know and they will make sure that they can get these awards completed at Seabase. Here at the Brent Environmental Center, we have a ship store. Uh, inside, you'll find everything you need for your adventure. Um, in addition, fun t shirts, water bottles, hammocks, keychains, belts, and a whole lot more. If you're worried about not being able to pack your sunscreen or bug spray on the plane, don't worry, we sell plenty of it. Um, and any other camping necessities you may need. Visit our ship store website at store.bsacbase.org. Let's get into some of the frequently asked questions that we receive from crews every year. What mask and snorkel should I bring? You can purchase a mask and snorkel from the Seabase ship store or go, or go to your local dive shop or even department stores. Anything that is comfortable for your crews will work. But we do recommend trying out your mask and snorkel in the pool during one of your training sessions before you travel to sea base to make sure that the fit is good. Make sure that there's no hair in the mask when you try to put it on. And if you do have hair on your upper lip, like a mustache, 
Um, one good thing to recommend is putting Vaseline on your mustache to help create a seal with the mask. Sometimes those mustaches get in the way of the seal and you'll find that your mask leaks. So it's a good idea to try it. Full face masks are not permitted at sea base or in fact with most dive and snorkel operators. Should I bring fishing gear? Seabase will provide all the fishing gear that you'll need while here. For camping on Big Munson Island, which you will do for the Out Island Adventure and for One Night for Keys Adventure, will there be power on the island to plug in my CPAP machine? No, Big Munson Island is a primitive island without power. We suggest packing plenty of battery backups for your CPAP machine or other necessary electronic devices. Should I bring a water bottle? Yes, absolutely. All participants should bring a wide mouth Nalgene style reusable water bottle. I mentioned wide mouth because we do have some ice machines on site here. If you're in one of the crews that are staying in the dormitories, you're gonna have access to those ice machines and you wanna be able to scoop the ice in to cool your water down and help cool you down on a hot day. What if I cannot pass the BSA swim test prior to arrival? You will not be permitted to participate or stay at sea base. The BSA swim test form or unit classification record goes through the details of what's required on the BSA swim test. And you'll find that form linked on our forms and documents page, as well as in any paperwork section of your participant guide. You'll notice on the most recent form that we mention going and taking the swimmers tests and being classified as a swimmer. Unfortunately, non-swimmers or beginner swimmers are not eligible to participate at sea base. You must be classified as a swimmer to attend sea base. So it's a good idea to get in the pool and start training if you can. What if I cannot pass complete the sea base swim review upon arrival? you will not be permitted to participate or stay at sea base. Now keep in mind, the swim review is not a replacement or a substitute for completing the swim test at home prior to traveling to sea base. The primary reason we complete a swim review, even if it is very similar to the swim test itself, is so that our staff are aware of everyone's comfort and competency level in the water. And it helps us to determine you know, what kind of activities, um, it, it helps them to understand a little bit better what everyone's ability is. But again, the swim test must be completed prior to arrival. It must be completed within a year of attending sea base. What if I arrive without a signed medical? All medical documentation must be taken care of in advance and signed by a physician. You will not be permitted to participate or stay at sea base if you arrive with that with an unsigned medical. Uh, some physicians are not familiar with the BSA annual health and medical record, so I would encourage you to review the BSA annual health and medical record ahead of time. And I would I would also encourage you to talk with your participants and make sure that they review the BSA annual health and medical record every page before they leave the doctor's office to make sure that every place where it requires a doctor's signature is complete. What if I arrive at sea base and exceed the maximum weight limit of 295 pounds? You will not be permitted to participate and will be sent home at your own expense. 295 pounds is the weight limit for our safety equipment here at sea base. Now, the BSA recommendation is that everyone meets the BSA height and weight guideline on the BSA annual health and medical record, and you'll see it on those forms as linked in our participant guides. But with that said, our maximum weight limit is 295 pounds. Anyone weighing 295 pounds or greater, again, exceeds the maximum weight limit of our safety equipment, and they are no longer eligible to attend ski base. Okay, I think that's it with most of the questions that we tend to get asked on a regular basis here. And I just want to thank you for coming and attending the Britain Environmental Center Adventures informational session. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and we'll move it over to questions. Hi everyone. Unfortunately, during the live stream event for the Britain Environmental Center programs, we did have some audio issues. So we are going to take this opportunity to re-answer some of the live questions that we took during the live stream. Then we will rejoin Trevor to get some of his answers. First question, do we get the ability to roam the island during the Out Island event? 
adventure. Yes, crews will have the ability to roam the island. They'll actually participate in something called Island Day, where the mate will give an island tour, do team building games, and in general, just reorient you to your island home for the week. Second, will you still provide the dry bag for the out island adventures? Absolutely, yes. There will be one dry bag per participant, and they are roughly 40 liters in size, so you want to keep two essential items. What about cameras for the island adventure? Cameras are welcome. Just keep in mind any, any uh, electronic devices that you bring out are going to be exposed to the elements. They might get wet, they might get sandy, so just make sure to bring what you need to keep that, those items safe. But if you're using phones, please make sure to use them sparingly because there is no power on the island. Try to use this time also to disconnect from your devices. This way you don't miss out on different elements of the adventure and the beautiful environment surrounding you. And then finally, are there specific merit badges that will be addressed or earned at Seabase? Merit badge advance advancement is unfortunately not a formal part of the Seabase programs. However, if you would like your activities to count towards merit badge requirements, we encourage you to work with your merit badge counselor locally to figure out if there are any activities that can count towards advancement. Thank you very much, and we'll turn it back over to Trevor. The next question is, uh, what is the role of the mate? The role of the mate is to guide you through. They're going to be with you from the moment that you arrive until the moment that you leave. Uh, they're, they're, they're helpful. They want to make sure that your adventure goes well, and they're going to encourage uh, the adult leaders to take a step back and let the youth lead. Next question is, should we bring fins, or are they available there to borrow? Um, whichever one you're more comfortable with, they are available to borrow. We have uh, small, large, medium, extra large, usually range from anywhere in a size 8 men's foot to a size uh, 13. So. You, you can do whichever one you're more comfortable with. Yeah, so as far as that out island adventure goes, you're gonna you're gonna go out, you're gonna have a great time. There's uh lots to be explored. The island's about 110 acres, it's about a mile long. Um you're gonna see key deer and fucking coons. You're gonna get to explore in the water, you'll go kayaking through the mangroves, shark fishing is always a good time. You get to wait out to small floating docks and try your best and try your luck for some sharks. Fishing day for any adventure is always super exciting. Um, it's just a really good time. Another question just popped in. What do we sleep in here when we are on Out Island? So you're going to be provided tents, and uh, each tent is going to have a tent buddy who is an appropriate age uh, to be your tent buddy. So whatever you're comfortable sleeping in, um, around that tent, buddy. But uh, it depends on what time of year you're here. In the springtime, it can get a little chilly at night. It's usually windier. Uh, you might want that heavier uh, blanket or kind of sleeping bag and maybe something to wear as pajamas. But uh, in the summertime, it's scorching. You're going to want to probably just be in some sleep shorts, a light sheet. At most, um, people bring hammocks. Um, the trade off there is you might get, but I'm eating up hot bugs. Uh, are there options for scouts who don't eat fish? Yes, our, our galley does a fantastic job of providing food for anyone who comes to Sea Base with any food allergies, religious preferences. Um, so there, there are options. If doing out island and you want a hammock camp, does the hammock need to fit into the 40 liter dry bag or can it be in a second dry bag? So you're going to take everything with you in your dry bag. You're going to put it in the war canoe and you're going to paddle to the island. You're going to moor up uh, a few hundred yards off the beach of the island and wade in carrying all of your belongings. So if you bring second bags and such, one, it's going to weigh down your paddle and uh, it's going to be tough carrying it. Uh, to the island bag. Maybe you make two trips. But uh, we do have uh, island commissioners who are making trips back and forth from the island uh, in skiffs each day. 
So some of those bigger, like bulkier items that won't fit in your dry bag, such as sleeping pads, a CPAP machine, they are able to transport on the flat bottom skiff uh, from base to the island and have it waiting and ready for you. Um, want to shout out Steve, our, uh, our key beer here. That's about all the time we have for tonight. Again, this presentation will be recorded and posted with the PowerPoint slides to our website within the next two to three business days. We'll notify the primary contacts of each reservation and post to Facebook when it's up online. Thank you for attending um, this session for 2024 Cruise. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us by email or phone. Seabase does have a lean staff, so if you're asking follow-up questions to our team, Request that your unit appoints a single member to ask questions on behalf of your crew. That way it ensures more questions can be answered. You can find the Seabase contact directory at, at www.bsacbase.org slash contact. Our main phone line is 305-664-4173. And our general email inbox is cbase.events at scouting.org. Hope you have a great evening and we look forward to serving your crews in the future.